Hello everyone. So today we're getting to know Dash. We're going to learn about what Dash can do and where Dash was made. And through learning with Dash and understanding Dash, we're going to be introduced to the amazing world of robotics and coding. So let's begin. We are going to look at where Dash was created. Dash was created in the United States by a robotics and educational startup called the Wonder Workshop in the year 2014. The Wonder Workshop is not only home to Dash, but it's also the home to the Dot Robot and another robot called Q. In a bit, you're going to hear Dash say hello. He's going to say hi. Hi. What is a robot? A robot is a machine which is able to do things that are dangerous or repetitive for humans. It is able to understand instructions that is given by humans through a computer or a tablet using something called code. Dash can also be given instruction through an iPad by dragging code that looks like puzzle pieces which can be actually attached to each other. Here's a little fun fact. Do you know that 40% of robots in the world are actually in Japan? Japan has the most amount of robots on Earth. In our life, there are actually a lot of robots around us, and robots help us to do a lot of things. They're used in helping save lives, helping build cars, delivering goods, and even helping us find out more about what's happening in space. In the first image, there is a robot helping build a Tesla car. The second image is of a robot on Mars, and so is the third one. What is coding? Coding is writing a bunch of instructions to a computer or robot when you want it to do something. For example, if you want to tell Dash to move around and make a sound, all you would need is your trusty finger and an iPad. Isn't that amazing? So let's look at what Dash can do. Dash is also able to give greetings such as Hi! Bye bye! And now he's gonna turn around. Here you're gonna see Dash spin and light up in different colors. Lights flash from Dash's front, which is right under his eyes, and there's also light flashing from the left and right ear of Dash. We're going to look at how Dash can move just like us. It can go forward, backwards. Dash has four buttons on the top of him. So there is button one, which has one dot. There is button two, which has two dots. And then there is button three, which has three dots. The big button that's right in the middle, a big white circle, is called the top button. So these buttons can trigger some events when they are pressed. One cool thing is Dash can make sounds. You're gonna hear different animal sounds in a bit. What you're currently hearing is Dash mimicking a cat a dog, a crocodile, and an elephant. Each button triggers an event. When I press the top button, Dash is going to make a sound of an engine revving. When I press button 2, Dash will make a sound of a helicopter. And then, when I press button 1, Dash is going to make a sound of a helicopter. At the end, when I press button 3 on Dash, Dash is going to make a sound of a What are sensors? As humans, we have the ability to sense such as sight, smell, taste, touch, and feel. Robots like Dash also have senses. Dash has sensors which have the ability to do some interesting things. For example, Dash can detect when something is in front of it and also when something is behind it. And you can program Dash and tell it what to do when it sees an obstacle. So let's look at what happens with it. Next. These are the infrared sensors of Dash. There's one placed on the top left and one placed on the top right. These infrared sensors are very useful when detecting objects and with these sensors we can program Dash to do things when it sees objects. Just like the infrared sensor that we had in the front, we also have a infrared sensor on Dash at the back. So this is also able to detect obstacles. So not only Dash can see obstacles in the front, but it also can see obstacles at the back. Obstacle detection. In this clip, we're going to look at Dash move forward and say, Wee! And when Dash detects an obstacle using the infrared sensors in the front, it will then stop and say, Ooh. 
So this is going to work when I press the top button of dash and then it's going to trigger the action of moving forward. So let's look at that. Dash is going to go backwards and when the backward sensor of dash detects an obstacle, it's going to play a sound. I hope you guys had fun getting to know Dash. We got to see what Dash could do and using Dash would be a really great way to get started with robotics and coding. You will get to learn about computational thinking and learn how to solve problems through coding and robotics. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you like it. Please hit the like button. Please share it and also please subscribe. Bye bye.